Well, folks, taking a break from Yamakon, doing some cosplay. I'm not cosplaying, but getting some cosplayers, getting some booth. I had to stop by my friend John's booth at Utopia Toys and Model because I was like, I need to do an unboxing while here at Yamakon. So uh, I was able to pick up something from his booth. He gave me a really, really good deal on it. So if you're in the Knoxville area or if you're not, you can go to Utopia Toys and Models. I believe it's TN. Dot com. I don't know. I'll put the description down below. But if you're at any convention, they're typically there. So you can definitely find them. Tell them Jimmy G sent you from the good, the bad, the awesome. You never know. Might give you a good deal. May not. I don't know what we'll do. But I got something really, really cool here. It is an Ultraman uh, figure here. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to unbox it, give you my impressions of it, and tell you what I think of it. So let's turn this camera around and do that. All right, let's open her up and do what we can. I don't have my Wesley Snipes with me. I need, uh, I need uh, someone's fingernails here or something. Hold on, I might have something sharp. My daughter might have something sharp. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Oh, I think <laughs> oh, I might get it. Does this work? Yes. When all this fails, use a plug to kind of do something. You're not, you really aren't supposed to carry knives or anything to conventions, but I, you know, hey, is what it is. Uh, but uh, let's see if I can get that open. Yep, there we go, that side. And then, uh, there we go, that side there. Boom. Let's get this baby out of the box. And my daughter wants her plug back. There you go. She doesn't want to lose it. And I got tape fingers. Uh, tape fingers on that. So let's open this baby up see what it looks like oh this is pretty cool folks pretty pretty cool so this is ultraman zero uh, we're gonna go ahead and get them him out of this bag that is pretty freaking awesome uh, it comes with a stand as well. I think this is a stand. I don't know what this is. Ultraman! Ultraman! I think this is a stand. So yeah, yeah, you get this stand right here. Uh, so that's awesome that you get this stand. Very, very cool. And so we're going to put that on Ultraman right here. But my wife and other daughter are back now. Uh, but anyway, that is him. So let's bring it in for a closer look. There he is in that cool pose going peace, deuces, all that good stuff. Love the blue, the silver. It's got a little bit of an overspray right there. Um, and then of course he's got his, that area right there. So, uh, and then the red outfit. There's no posing to this guy. So he is in the pose that you're gonna have him as. Uh, right there, but overall very very nice little statue right here that you can get uh, From uh, Utopia toys or anywhere else from Bandai uh, So if you're not familiar with Ultraman, I'll put some stuff about him down below, but yeah, he's just a sturdy Statue right there. And so from a size standpoint uh, Let me see what I got that can kind of give you a, a comparison. Yeah uh, Here we go a used bottle of water. That's how big he is compared to that used bottle of water so yeah, or a 16 ounce <laughs> my family said but a 16 ounce dr pepper or a little stuffed yarn kitty right there so so there he is from a size standpoint uh there so what are my thoughts about this figure so first of all this is my first Ultraman figure, uh, probably not my last. Now I am most mainly mainly a, a posable figure kind of guy, but sometimes I like statues uh, because statues. I mean, typically I'm posing figures, but they're going to stay in that pose. Uh, so this statue is going to be there, and I and I really like the the deuce is kind of there uh, pose on that. Uh, I, I'm going to get some commentary from everybody else here at the table. So so Penny, what do you think? He's got wings on his head. He's got wings on his head. What about you, Katie? Yes, Winnie. Yeah, all right, so uh, that is him in a nutshell, but I'm gonna get some pictures of him. So on a scale of good, bad, awesome, I think he's pretty awesome. I think if you like a good statue or whatever you may uh, 
do this is you can't go wrong with this Ultraman Zero uh, 15th anniversary beyond the stars uh, master life statue from Bandai and again I'll put a link thank you John at Utopia Toys and Models for a great deal on this and uh, again I'll put a link to his stuff but that's all I got to say about that so thank you from Yamakon from the Yamakon from Yamakon from Yamakon so thank you thank you thank you again so uh, tune in next time when we talk about something else good bad or awesome but in the meantime y'all stay young have fun be awesome awesome <laughs>